Welcome back to Run It Back. Shams, we're starting with you here, man. The, the CBA deadline for the NBA is at the end of March. They've extended it a few times. And you, this is how you make the big bucks. You got news here. What's going on with the NBA in, this, in the CBA right now? Yeah, th there's been progress in, in their negotiations. There's an urgency to get a deal done. At some point in March, there's a March 31 deadline, like you just said. And there's been three pillars to these negotiations and where this really stands. The first is they're negotiating a new tax bracket and expanding the lower tiers. We've talked a lot about you know, the, the higher end spenders like the Clippers and the Nets and the Warriors. Uh, and it'll continue to be more punitive. But I think finding a way to expand and increase the lower end of the, the tax brackets to allow teams to at least dip into the tax without those crazy penalties. I think that would open up even more a little bit more spending. The second thing is draft age eligibility going down to 18 years old. So that would effectively end the one and done rule. I'm told there's momentum on it. The one pushback is that the NBPA is trying to make sure that vets aren't eliminated and those jobs aren't going away from the vets. So, you know, whether it's a condition, an exception that makes sure that the veteran players have to be on teams with high schoolers that come into the NBA. And the third thing, and that this is something that Evan and Chandler will, will appreciate, is contract extension limits right now are at 120 percent. Uh, the league and the PA are discussing elevating that to 140 or 150 percent. So players like Jalen Brown, OG Ananubi, um, guys like that that are extension eligible, they'll be able to extend for a little bit more than they're able to right now. So I'm curious, you guys, you guys played. What's your thoughts on those three different factors uh, that the league and the union are working on right now? I wish they did that in, 2000, in 2014 and 2017 <laughs> when we got our big bags. <laughs> I'd still be under contract right now. I'm just milking them dry. <laughs> well, ET right. got the cap to spike, you know? He, he he got the cap to spike in the exact right Hey, let year. me tell you right. something, Sean. Breaking news. I got ET paid when he got his contract because I messed up <laughs> the whole market that summer, and I got the 96 ball, and then sure enough, next tweet, boom, Evan Turner gets the bag from Portland once I went to Memphis. Yeah, and I was like, Evan damn, Turner, it Ken Bates, Bates, is this Luol much Day, better Joe Kim Noah, Chandler yeah, Parsons. Exactly. That was I opened up the floodgates for these cats. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Look at you guys now. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but, I, do, I do like the I do like the 18 and uh, year one too mm -hmm. because as many times as kids prematurely go to the draft and they don't make it. There's been the flip side too, where I grew I grew, I grew up playing with this kid Vernon Macklin. ET probably remembers him. Yeah. They called it big ticket. He's supposed to be the next they Kevin did. Garnett, and they changed the rule before his he was draft eligible that you have to be one year removed. He goes to Georgetown. He gets hurt. He doesn't play well. He transfers. He actually transfers to Florida. He comes and plays with me. Prolongs his career. Never really makes the NBA. And if he was able to go to the NBA as an 18 year old. His family is set for life, and he's signed, he gets you know 10 to 15, whatever it is, to be a lottery pick, guaranteed money. So I think if a kid's ready to play right now, if, if Bronny James or a Victor, if these kids are 17, 18 years old and they're draft eligible, why make them go play overseas? Why make them go play in the G League? Like, I love that rule. I think it's selfish to not let a kid, to stunt his growth, to not let him just go hoop and, and fulfill his dreams as soon as he can. Yeah, I agree. I agree, too. I think uh, we have a lot of prodigies. We have a lot of great young talent here. And uh, you even look at Scoot Henderson. He's a man already amongst boys. And I think sometimes just wasting that one year does nothing for anybody but the university. And when you break it down for the other sports, baseball, you know, all those other sports, this they don't have like an age restriction. So, you know, let them hoop, let them ball. Yeah, I love it. I'm with you guys there, and and let get, let's get the kids on the court, especially if there's safeguards and keep the vets there on the team as well. I think that was the mistake we made in the early 2000s, and we just ended up with not enough vets and too many young guys. But Shams, I know there's a TV deal on the way too, so there's a lot going on. It's imperative for them to get this done now. And shout out to the guys that said all oh, the trade demands would lead to a strike, or, or I guess not. But Shams. Thank you, as always, for being here and, and for, the, for the news. And you have a great one. 